I'll try that again. Now, I think you guys can hear me now. Sorry about that. Uh, we are just now kind of uh, kicking off. We have families getting ready, are showing up, and uh, we have uh, high school students starting to arrive, and uh, everyone's starting to get ready. We have uh, the phot photographers here. Sorry about my headphones. I got to be able to make sure that you guys can hear. So, um, so anyway, we are uh, all set. I know we're on... Uh, doing this uh, like an hour and a half early, but we wanted to give parents enough time to leave comments for their graduates. And uh, it is this software we're using is really cool. And so uh, I'll go ahead and show a few comments we have. So uh, Jennifer uh, Bird says, way to go, La uh, Landon Patton. Uh, so that's really cool. And um, we have Kathy Liming congratulating Connor Ninachek. Um uh, so that is some really cool stuff. Uh, a couple cool facts about this class is we have a 98% completion rate for the senior class. So that's pretty awesome. And uh, uh, one other thing, if you guys have not gone online and got your program guide, so if you're watching from home, you can, I will put up a banner here where you can use your QR code and get uh, a copy of that. I'm going to step away just for a minute. And uh, I will be back in just a second. I got to get a few people set up so we can uh, talk to some students in uh, just a few minutes. So uh, bear with us. We'll be uh, back in just a f uh, few minutes. What you do in life matters. At Grant Career Center, we help students discover a passion that leads to success in life. We nurture excellence through a student-centered focus. This is where dreams become reality. Weaknesses emerge as strengths. And students who are college and career ready is our triumph. Grant Career Center is a school of choice. Are you ready? Apply today at grantcareer.com. And then like we're, how do I stop it? How do I stop it without my OG? I know. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'll stop it like, or do I do it during the ceremony? Yeah. No. So like once the ceremony starts, so I hit leave and then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it's just, yeah, just like that. Yeah. 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 All right, sorry about that, guys. We had to get that kind of set up. All right, so uh, we have uh, a few teachers going to be uh, interviewing some students here in just a few minutes, so they're uh, all set up downstairs for that. Uh, meanwhile, we have uh, students arriving, starting to get ready down in the uh, cafeteria. Uh, they're getting their photos taken up on the stage for their senior composite, and uh, they're uh, getting started. So that that's a lot of fun. You know, a couple of cool things about Grand Career Center is that, um, you know, we have uh, – career tech student organizations and uh, they allow our students to do some really cool things. Um, and one of those earlier this year is our FFA held a cattle auction. And uh, I have some pictures I wanted to show uh, and this is how they raised some money. And I just thought it was such an awesome event. Um, so here's the cattle. This is uh, one of the cows. Mr. McDaniels is up there auction off the cattle. This was a really popular event for us, and uh, we were really excited the turnout that we had, and we can't thank the buyers enough for supporting our FFA and our students. So if you missed out, you missed out on a really awesome event at Grand Career Center uh, just a couple weekends ago. Uh, we would like to thank uh, Lewis Auctioneering. They uh, were one of the sponsors for that event and helped um, make that event happen. So we were uh, really excited to, to partner with them this school year. All right. Uh, A 
couple of things that we've had happening uh, on campus is we had our senior signing day and uh, that's an event where students have decided that they're going to go to college can sign uh, some of the college colleges were on campus and uh, so here's some students with UC Claremont uh, that's Miss Mo and some of her students there's Mr. Carter he's an NKU grad and he is uh, one of our uh, teacher reporters tonight down in the cafeteria. This is Wilmington College. Uh, there is NKU. So this is just one of my favorite events on campus is uh, featuring our students as they decide on their future in um, there's nothing more exciting to see students really think about their future and deciding what they want to do. So well, back out here at uh, Bethel High School in the press box, we are slowly getting more people showing up here. And um, I know Mr. Carter is downstairs uh, walking around so hopefully he'll have somebody to talk to us here in a few minutes uh, so if you've not downloaded your senior recognition awards ceremony uh, program it's online so make sure that you take a few minutes and get that if you are watching from home and uh, a lot of hard work I'd like to thank Miss Buffy Young for all her yard hard work on this uh, on this program. Uh, a couple of awesome things about this graduating class is 52% of our uh, seniors participated in work-based learning, and uh, that is an awesome number. Over half of our seniors participated. Um, our senior class has earned over 1,614 credential points. Um, and we had 36 seniors that were accepted to college, which is 19% of our uh, senior class. And they were awarded a combined $112,590 in scholarship. Well, hey, let's take a look and see uh, who uh, else is congratulating their uh, seniors. We have uh, Sarah Squire. She congratulates uh, Nehemiah. Sorry, I got a lot kind of I'm juggling here. So just uh, be patient with me for a second. And we have uh, Kathy Liming congratulating Jacob Weiskettle. We have Devin Long congratulating Ethan Long. It's a really cool car in that profile pic. Heather Hackney congratulates Ava Petrie in the Allied Health Program and the National Honor Society. And we have Hannah Lindsay congratulating all of the amazing early childhood education girls. Uh, we'd also like to congratulate uh, from Mandy Dorgan to Landon Patton. Aunt Mandy is proud of you. Um, you know, one of the things that we uh, were talking about was how awesome our alumni are. And, uh, hey, I think we have Mr. Carter ready. No, he says not yet. And, uh, and about how different our graduation has been over the years here at Grant Career Center. Um, and we asked our alumni if they didn't mind to send in a few shots from their graduation and a couple things that made their graduation different over time. So for the last, I don't know, 10 years or so, we have been here at uh, Bethel Tate High School in their gym. But at some point we were in Grant Career Center's parking lot. And uh, so here's a picture from that, which I thought was really cool. Uh, and just how times have kind of changed. We uh, Here's another picture. 
I have to say thank you to the alumni for stepping up and sending some of these pictures in. Um, we had boxes and boxes of photos, but some of them weren't of graduation. So I don't know if it had to do with the yearbook or what, but uh, and that's why maybe we didn't have so many graduation pictures. But to hear some of our alumni on their graduation day, and I just thought that was like really, really cool that they wanted to uh, share some of their pictures from back in the day, if you will. And we'll, we'll look at a few more uh, pictures from the past here in just a little while. Let's take a, a look at the cafeteria. We got more students and staff uh, showing up here and helping out, getting our students ready for uh, today's event. Can't hear them. Hey, Mr. Dorsey. Hi, guys. This is Mr. Carter, math teacher here at Grant Creator Center. I'm uh, standing here with Nathan Suda, a senior out of IT. Nate, what's your homeschool? Uh, New Richmond. New Richmond. And uh, what, what's your best memory here at Grant? Um, honestly, I I think it's probably just I made a lot of small memories here. But if I had to think of something that was really fun, it was the pie and the teacher in the face day. That was a good day. Well, that, that was real recent though. Um, I'm trying to think. Trying to think of last year. Oh yeah, yeah, the beginning of this year when we had the bouncy houses and all that. Yeah, it was really fun. That was fun too. Uh, do you have any message that you would like to send to the seniors coming up next year and years following? Um, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, you're at Grant, you're on the right track, you already know what you kind of want to do. And yeah, just go with what you want to do. And Try and find your place. Sorry, I'm going to cut you off. Last question. What are your future plans? Uh, I'm planning on looking for a job in IT. Uh, just something 
on the main to keep me afloat, but on the side, I want to work on music. So. Looking to stay local or go elsewhere? Uh, I'm looking to... I, I don't know. Oh, no? For now, I'm going to stay in the Cincinnati Tri-State at least. But I don't know. Leave the options open. I was lucky enough to have Mr. Suda here in class. I know that the future is looking very bright for this young man, and I uh, can't wait to see what the future holds. Thanks, Nate. Awesome. Hey, thanks, Mr. Carter. Uh, find us a couple more kids, please. You know the All right, we're back here. Let's see here. Hopefully, get my mouse to work. All right, and we got uh, more more comments coming in, so that that's really fun to see. Um, let's see here. Alexa Pitzer, congratulations! They cannot wait to see where your future holds. And uh, Jordan Woolwine, congratulations, Charlie Troxel. Your big sister is so proud of you. And Barbara Goodman says, congratulations, seniors. So that is a lot of fun. Hey, uh, if you are an alumni and you're watching today, uh, we'd like you to take a few minutes and connect with us on our social media. We have... Um, Plenty of ways for you guys to do that. And uh, we also have a Facebook page for our great alumni. And we would love to get some information from our alumni that's out there. We're looking for your email address, just some basic information. But if you get a chance to uh, hit the QR code here, we would be happy to connect with you about upcoming events on campus and opportunities for you to um, engage with our students here at Grant Career Center. So if you're interested in uh, being a part of our alumni, we are looking for you. So uh, don't forget to take a look at that. Um, our graduation program, I think I've said that a few times, but if you're interested in um, getting a copy to look through while you're watching online, we would be happy for you to uh, download a copy of it so you can follow along. Um, and... Our students are still getting ready down uh, below. They're starting to get some pictures taken up on stage for their senior composite. Um, but hey, let me give you a tour around uh, Grant uh, here at Bethel Tate High School. Uh, we got you guys covered. We got uh, we got the band covered for you. We got uh, let's see here. We got all kinds of different views. You will not miss a beat if you're not uh, here today and you're online. We will make sure that you get to uh, see your student or your loved one uh, cross that podium today. So uh, that's a really uh, nice thing. And a lot of people put in a lot of hard work to make sure that that happened uh, for you today here at uh, Bethel Tate High School and for our Grand Career Center uh, seniors and family members. So uh, earlier I was talking a little bit about um, Grand Career Center's um, CTSOs and um, our career tech organizations, they allow students to take the skills that they've learned and use them in um, different ways. And one of those things is um, I actually think Mr. Carter is ready. So we're going to go to Mr. Carter. We'll come back and we'll talk about CTSOs. So, uh, Mr. Carter. We are standing here with Morgan Dahlheimer. She's in our allied health program. Morgan, what's your home school? Bethel. Bethel. All right. And what um, do you plan on doing after you leave Green? Well, I'm going to take a gap year, then I'm probably going to go to college for med school. Okay. All right. And um, if you had a message that you could send to graduates in the future, what would that be? Just try your best. It's really like not that difficult as long as you try. And then once you do, you'll be like very self supporting and it just feels a lot better. So. And lastly, what was your favorite memory that you had here at Grant? Anything in lab. Lab was awesome. Like, I literally had so much fun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What about math class? Whatever. What? Math class was all right. All right. I, 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 I can deal with that one a little bit. I can deal with that one a little bit. Okay. Thank you, Morgan. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dorsey. All right. Back up here in the booth. Uh, we were talking a little bit about career tech organizations and how they um, connect what they learn in lab to 
the real world and um, they compete against other career tech uh, schools around uh, the nation regionally locally and so we had a few students talk to us about their experiences in um, our career tech organizations at Grand Career Center What F of A means to me is that we can apply everything that we learn in the classroom out to the real world. And we also get to compete in competitions like we went to state, which was up in Columbus. And we also get to show in fair and have a cattle auction, which was very successful this year. If I wouldn't have been an FFA, I wouldn't have got the opportunities that I've gotten this year. I love FFA because it teaches me about agriculture and helps me get better in my leadership skills. In FFA, we have all sold four cows at auction, and we've also done many different um, CDEs in which we've learned more about livestock and equine, and for me, floriculture. And because of those CDEs, I am more prepared to go to competitions and I am better able to make friends with people. I'm Haley, I'm a senior in Allied Health and I am the HOSA Vice President. Um, HOSA has brought me a lot of opportunities. It has definitely made me grow closer to my um, classmates that went with me. Um, I made it to state and I didn't like, I did it junior year and we didn't get to go like anywhere because it was COVID, but this year we went to Columbus and I got to experience like going to restaurants with my class. And then we went to the competition and that was just so much fun. Um, I had skills like blood pressure, um, respirations, heart rate, those are called vital signs. Um, and then I also had to do hand washing and putting on. So I definitely recommend um, going to HOSA and being involved in it because it gives you an opportunity to go, grow closer to all of your like classmates and people. Um, I roomed with people that I didn't know, um, and it definitely brought me a lot closer to those people. So if you're coming to Grant and you're in the Allied Health Program or the Vet Science Program, I definitely recommend going into HOSA. Hi, my name is Emily, and I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the opportunities HOSA brought up for me. One of the big ones was definitely um, it helped me build my team working skills. When I did um, biomedical debate, I got to work on a team with two other people, and we all really got to work together and learn how to work better as a team rather than just independently working on our own. Uh, I also got to travel to Tennessee. Well, I had the opportunity to be able to um, this summer, I might possibly be able to go. And um, recently I did go to Columbus with my HOSA team and we got to do some competitions and some really cool lectures where I learned a lot about um, not just animal medicine, but also human medicine as well. So it's very interesting and has opened up a lot of friendships for me as well. So I definitely recommend doing HOSA. So it's special to me because it is, well, the trip, the competition, that is something that I will remember my whole life. It's something that makes school fun. Um, not many schools go on trips. They don't do fun competitions like that. And it's just a really cool experience. It's a huge place. It's a huge convention center. And you have so many other career tech schools doing other like labs, like competitions, you know, you have like the cosmetology, the criminal justice, they had a firefighting one and it was just really cool to see. I believe that everybody who comes to Grant should be interested in joining a career tech organization such as Skills USA. Hi, my name is Josh Smith. I am a uh, student here at Grant Career Center. I'm a junior in the Industrial Academy. Um, skills USA has taught me leadership skills, um, teamwork skills, and has been an overall great program to be a part of. I thoroughly enjoyed my time up there in Columbus, and I'd highly recommend it for anyone who is thinking about going.
So back out here, uh, seats are starting to get filled. We have uh, students down in the cafeteria getting their uh, their robes on. We have uh, teachers and staff helping them uh, look their best for today. Uh, and we um, have Life Touch here taking pictures for their graduation composite. So there's a lot going on here today. Uh, and um, I tell you what, the excitement here, though, is just awesome. Uh, speaking of excitement, we have um, Mr. Carter, our math teacher. He is down there talking to some students. Uh, I think he is ready, so let's see what he's up to. All right, we are standing here with Will Sport. He is a senior in our IT program. Will, what's your home school? I'm uh, from the Richmond, the Richmond Village School District. Awesome. Thank you. So um, what do you plan on doing upon graduation? Uh, I want to go work as an IT guy for an industrial firm, uh, something like Millicron or L3 Harris. I think that's right up your alley, dude. Yeah. Awesome. Um, do you have any a message you'd like to send to your class or future graduates? Keep on keeping on. Short and simple to the point. I love it. And lastly, what was your favorite memory that you made here at Grant Pearson? Uh, serious or not serious? As long as it's appropriate, you can say both. Uh, serious, most important memory. Uh, can't think of one right now. Not serious. I built rockets in science class. No. Hey, it made, it made an uh, impression on you. That's all that matters, right? Yeah. Well, thank you, Will. Congratulations. I'm looking forward to what the future holds, buddy. Thank you. Back to you, Mr. Dorsey. All right. Thanks, buddy. All right. So uh, back up here, uh, we got some more uh, congratulations coming in from parents. We have um, – her name, congratulations, Nathan Keller. She's proud of you, best friend. Uh, Autumn Carter talks to Robert Carter. She says that she loves him very much. Uh, we have Maddie Ray. Let's see. Gabby Block is talking to Maddie Ray. Uh, Chase your dreams and always smile. It's really nice. Ellen sends some uh, congrats to Nevada. And uh, let's see here. We have uh, Melanie Hubler Braburn congratulates Ariel Tucker. She can't wait to see where life is going to take her. And uh, you're going to do amazing things UC bound. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, we'll keep checking these comments as they come in over uh, the course of this uh, uh, live stream today. So this is uh, really fun to see everybody uh, loving on their family members. Um, all right, let's see here. The cafeteria is starting to fill, and I'll tell you what, the gym is starting to fill. Uh, starting to fill. Sorry, Mr. Carter, I don't know what's going on there. And uh, seats are starting to fill here in the uh, gymnasium here at Bethel. Uh, so, like I said, the excitement is starting to build here. It, uh, we're excited to brag on our students. That's one of the best parts about uh, Grand Career Center is how much we love to talk about all the great things our kids are doing. And uh, I can't be more happy to be one of those people that get to share uh, those stories with, with you guys. Uh, let's take a quick look at some of um, our past graduates. Uh, we had alumni send us uh, pictures today uh, over the last couple days. And uh, here are some pictures from their big day. All right, uh, back out here overlooking uh, 
the Bethel Gymnasium. You know, uh, last week we hosted, oh, we got Mr. Carter. He has somebody he's talking to. So let's, uh, let's check in with Mr. Carter and see what he's up to down there. Mr. Carter. All right, Mr. Dorsey, we're standing here with Abby Bingaman. She is a senior in our culinary program. Uh, what's your home school? My home school is Bethel Tate. I also want to say we are standing here with a state champ and national qualifier. When is that? Um, what, what was your competition? So my competition is with FCCLA, and I had to design a business plan and present it in a group of judges. And when's nationals? Nationals is June 29th, which is my birthday, and till like July 3rd. Gotcha. Well, we're excited to see how you do there. Um, what is your favorite memory that you've made here at Grant? Um, I would have to say, I feel like all the late hours I've spent with Chef after school's been over, working on my project has been so much fun. I've really gotten to have a connection with Chef on top of just learn a lot that I'm going to use in like, my future. So I would say that's probably my Awesome. Um, do you have any messages that you want to send out to future graduates or your graduating class as a whole? Um, for my graduating class as a whole, congratulations, we made it. And for future graduates, do your homework and study hard and enjoy it. Lastly, any family shout outs or anything? Shout out to my mom, my rock, my rock. I love my mom. And shout out to my whole family. They're going to come. And my uncle, Alex, and his husband actually flew down from California to be here today. So I'm really happy about that. And yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, Abby. We look forward to seeing how you do at Nashville. Congratulations. All right, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dorsey. Hey, thank you. All right, back up here. I'll tell you. Um, the FCCLA students, the students in culinary, they have done an amazing job um, at all their competitions this past year. Now, I'll tell you, one awesome event we had recently here at Grand Career Center was The Big Build. And you may have seen that on uh, Channel 12. They came out and covered it. But um, I wanted to show you a little video clip. We had fourth graders from uh, most of our homeschools come out. And we had um, homeschooled kids come. And we just had... Fourth graders are just a lot of fun. So uh, check this out. Another food. And then these. Okay. Another one of these? Another one. And then another one. Well, now what are we missing? One of these. Oh, but we said we could only use one, right? Oh, so take it out. So you want to take this out? Yeah. No. No. Take it out. What do you want to take out? I want to take out. One of the oranges. One of the oranges? Okay, what are you going to add? Take another orange. One of the other Fourth? Don't take it. Take one of the orange. Okay, take an orange away and put this in. Now, now what am I still missing? Add a 16. So are you guys saying I have to use two 16ths? Yeah. No. No? You still don't think so? No. Yeah. I can use so just these, one. I have an idea. What if you put them sideways? Oh, that's cheating. We can't do that. Wait, no, I can move. I don't have an idea. Take, take this out. Take this out. Take this out. Okay. And take the orange one out. Take the orange okay. one out. I do not like camera. Hold that in for me. Can you come up and hook? Alright, you want to come down here and pull the chain? Come on around. Alright boys, I need help taking these nuts off before we put pressure on. Okay, right there, hold. They're gonna pull all the nuts. Not hitting? Here, let me bring it down. No, it has to go right here. It's like overlap. 
Just show her where to drill it. There you go. Real easy, remember. Hold it up with your finger. Remember smooth, remember smooth. There you go. She's going to get a lot of pain to take That's all right. What you do in life matters. At Grant Career Center, we help students discover a passion that leads to success in life. We nurture excellence through a student-centered focus. This is where dreams become reality. Weaknesses emerge as strengths. And students who are college and career ready is our triumph. Grant Career Center is a school of choice. Are you ready? Apply today at grantcareer.com. All right, back up here. Uh above the, uh, I call it the crow's nest, above uh, the Jimmy. But I think we have Mr. Uh, Carter down there ready with uh, a student. So let's see what's going on down there, Mr. Carter. All right, we are sitting here with Jesse Reed. Jesse is a senior in our Cosmo program. Jesse, what's your home school? New Richmond High School. New Richmond. And um, what are your plans upon graduation? Um, I plan on going to a business college and then hopefully opening up my own chain salon. Oh, that, I know where I'm getting my hair cut. Um, <laughs> What is a message you would like to send to your fellow graduates? Um, congratulations. Never look back and take the opportunity in front of you. And anything you'd like to say to the future graduates? Um, you guys can do it. I never thought I would make it, but hey, here I am. <laughs> and lastly, what's your favorite memory at Grant? Um, probably hanging out and being able to play ping pong in the rec room with everybody at during lunch. <laughs> well, we enjoyed having you, Jesse. Congratulations. It's Thank been you. a pleasure meeting everyone. Any shout outs to anybody? Um, shout out to Lori Messner, best cosmetology teacher ever. Um, and shout out to everybody at Cosmo for, making, uh, little, for giving me the amazing opportunity to make many things. Thanks, Jesse. Back to you, Mr. Dorsey. All right. Thank you. All right. Uh, well, we got all kinds of comments uh, flooding in here, so I thought we should uh, go over a few of those. Let's see here. We have congratulations, senior. Adventures await. Oh, Ashley uh, Phillips says congratulations to Logan Faust. And let's see here. Alicia Murphy says Marissa and Brooke Papa and I are proud of you two. They wish they could be there. Mm -hmm. All right, we like I said, we got a bunch of these congratulations coming through, and it, it's we've been on here for about an hour and twenty minutes, uh, and uh, we're getting closer to uh, starting time. We have about a, uh, I don't know, about forty minutes until uh, six thirty. So I imagine this will get pretty, pretty busy here in just the next uh, twenty minutes or so. So if you didn't know. Uh, we are still taking applications for next school year. So if you are a student out there uh, thinking, maybe I want to go to Grant Career Center, uh, it's still not too late, by the way. Um, you know, some of our programs are uh, filling, but uh, does not mean we're full. So if you are interested in attending Grant Career Center, um, do yourself a favor and apply, and we'll see what happens. See here, Savannah Ridner says, Congratulations to my little brother James. She's really, really proud of you. And Melanie Hubler Bradburn says, Congratulations to Ariel Tucker. All right, uh, we're going to take a little break here for a minute, and I'll be back with you guys in just a few. You know, and I know we got something good. She's a camera and stuff. All right. We are back up here. Uh, sorry. Mr. Carter, are you ready? 
and roll. So I'm standing here with Charlie Troxel. Charlie is another one of our state champions in uh, the carpentry event. He finished first at competition a few weeks back. Uh, when's nationals, Charlie? Uh, June, 20th. June 20th. So we're looking forward to him having the opportunity to bring back another dub and make us even prouder. Homeschool. Uh, Felicity. Felicity. And program? I'm in carpentry. Carpentry. That's right. And um, what are your plans on graduation? Um, here's learn as much as I can. Hopefully start my own gig and go out on my Charlie's always been a constant learner. Um, do you have anything you want to say to your fellow graduates? Hope everybody knows all right. Keeps out of trouble. I appreciate it. And then um, lastly, what, what was your favorite memory here at Grant? Uh, I have a state competition. I don't mind. Grant. 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 You taste gold once, you won it for life. Yeah. Uh, anybody you want to shout out? Uh, my mom and dad, just thank you guys for being here for everything. Buddy. Thanks, Mr. Dorsey. Hey, you're welcome. Hey, tell him congratulations. We're happy he uh, represented okay. us so well. Hepner and. Sorry about that. Uh, I think we had a bad connection a little bit uh, as far as the internet. We have uh, the Felicity High School Band is uh, playing tonight here at our graduation, and they are warming up. So uh, we are really proud to have the uh, Felicity Band here uh, playing for us and thankful that they were willing to come do that for us Um you know, it takes a lot of people to uh, get a commencement ceremony put together, and uh, we could not uh, be more thankful that so many people were willing to uh, help put this event on. Uh, and uh, we'd like to also make sure that we thank uh, Bethel Tate High School for hosting us, uh, you know, Felicity Franklin School for uh, allowing their band to participate and play today um, for us tonight. So we have live music. So that's really exciting. I think we have Mrs. Cooper with us, maybe. Maybe not. Uh, in just a few minutes, we will. Uh, let's take a look at uh, some... Sorry, my mouse quit working. Somehow I, I plopped that in there. Uh, we have some pictures of graduates from past grant graduations. Um, The uh, band is warming up. Let's take a listen. Hopefully you guys can hear me all right. We have uh, Mrs. Cooper. She's back from last year, and we are so excited that she's uh, going to be uh, doing some interviews. Mrs. Cooper, how are you? I am good. How are you, Mr. Dorsey? I'm, I'm hanging in there. Who do you have with you? I have Natalie Cliff. She is a criminal justice senior from Bethel, and we're going to ask her a couple questions. Natalie, what was 
your favorite part of your senior year this year? Um, oh, I didn't prep her. I did not prep her I at all. I was not prep, but I know it. I was in Skills USA opening and closing teams with Miss Cooper, and we took a school trip to Columbus, and it was lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs> that it really was a lot of fun. Um, Sally, also, what are you doing after high school? I am going to UC Claremont College for criminal justice, and I am working, plan to be working as a corrections officer at the Claremont County Jail. She is awesome. Thank you, Natalie. Good luck with everything. Thank you. <laughs> There we go. All right, I'm standing here with little Rob, Robert Carter, the third, um, second, whatever, one of those numbers, right? We're adding them up. So he is a senior in our construction program as well. What is your home school, Rob? New Richmond. Um, what are your plans upon graduation? Um, as of right now, I'm working on a landscaping job that I've been on for a little while, so I feel like that. Do you have a message you'd like to send out to your fellow graduates? Uh, yeah, it was nice meeting everybody when I came to Grant. I had a lot of fun at Grant. But, um, you know, I, I hope that all of you guys have great, great plans ahead of you. Yeah, just thank you. Um, what's your favorite memory from Grant? Uh, it's got something to do with Ethan Scales. I don't know. All right, you've been appropriate. <laughs> and is there anybody you'd like to shout out? Uh, Ethan Scales. Ethan Scales. Yeah. Ethan Scales. All right, Rob. Thank you. Appreciate it. Back to you, Mr. Dorsey. All right, back up here uh, in the gymnasium where the band's playing and excitement is building up here. Uh, you know, if you've not uh, followed us on Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter or Instagram, make sure you take a chance and do that. We'd be happy to uh, have you as a follower. And if you're a Grant alumni, we would love to connect with you. So if you don't mind uh, hitting that QR code and putting in your email address and a little bit of information about yourself, we would be happy to maybe have you out to campus to uh, work with some of our students or other opportunities to maybe tell your story about what you do. So. If you're interested, make sure that you fill out the form there. All right. I think uh, we have Mrs. Cooper ready to talk to us. So let's uh, let's see what Mrs. Cooper's up to. Hold on, Mrs. Cooper. I got to figure out where I'm at. All Hello. Right. Hi, Mr. Dorsey. Hello. Who do I have here? Nathan Keller. For what, what school are you from? What home Bethel. School? And what program? Allied Health. All right. Nate, do you have any big summer plans? Um, I'm going to go to the Fire Academy down in, right here in uh, Bethel, Ohio to become a Fire 1 and Fire 2. Fantastic. Did you earn any credentials or anything this year in Allied Health? Um, no. Um, I took both my S my uh, I took my CCMA and I missed it by a little point. So. Oh, well, you can still go for it again. Yes, I so. can. All righty. Thank you, Nate. Thank you. All right, I'm standing here with Andrew Knight. Andrew, what is your program? Um, I'm in manufacturing engineering technology. And what's your homeschool? Uh, Felicity Green with High School. Felicity. All right. Um, do you have any plans upon graduation? So, uh, upon graduation, I, I plan on uh, moving down to Arizona and getting a machinist shot in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, good for you, man. And from there on, I'm going to take off to Texas and start my business. Oh, so you're going to be traveling all over the nation. Yeah, That's okay. awesome. That's exciting. A lot of travel involved. Do you have a favorite memory from when you were here at Grant? It's a lot. Uh, All right. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take a minute to think about. We can circle back to it. Yes. Uh, do you have a Do you have a message you would like to send to your fellow graduates? Uh, to my fellow graduates, I just wish you luck in your future. 
and hope you do great things. So don't fall down. And is there anybody specifically, family, friends, that you'd like to give a shout out to? I'd like to give a shout out to my dad. He's absolute, or not even just my dad, my dad, my mom, my stepdad, but all of them, they've been here with me throughout the whole process and motivated me to keep on going, telling me that I'm doing great things. Just keep on going. Well, I'm sure they are very proud of you, bud. Yeah. Uh, uh, memory come up or? All right. So one of my favorite memories is ever was we hosted a we hosted a little Nintendo tournament in our IT class, and it felt so homey and it felt so relaxing. And great. And I had a lot of practice, and I made a lot of. And uh, what game were you playing? So we did a tournament. A, uh, a oh yeah. Yeah. Were you, the, were you the victor? No. I think I ended up picking, like, I think I picked the second. And then, um, yeah. The rest of kept going. It was very fun. Well, Andrew, we appreciate your time. Congratulations, yeah. buddy. We look forward to seeing what you do in the future. Yeah. Thanks. Back to you, Mr. Dorsey. All right. Thank you, uh, Mr. Carter. Jeff Bolton, great job, Gavin. Uh, Casey Parker says, congratulations, Shay. Uh, congratulations, Bella Landis. Congratulations, Emma Sanchez. And the uh, congratulations just keep coming in. Oh, we got Mrs. Hakel on here today. Thank you. I, I even trimmed up a little bit for you, Mrs. Hakel. So I, I'm sure you'd enjoy that too. And uh, who else we got? Oh, we got... Uh, Mandy Wendell says, congratulations, baby. She's talking to, obviously, Robert Wendell. And then uh, we have Kara Bowen sending her love from Cadillac, Michigan. We got some reach today. That's pretty awesome. So uh, congratulations to our seniors. Let's see. Uh, the cafeteria is getting very busy down there. Oh, I don't know what that's doing. Let me get rid of that. Sorry about that. And, uh, you know, our graduates all should be here by now. Uh, and, uh, again, getting ready, getting their uh, pictures with their friends, getting their uh, composite taken care of. So one of the awesome things that we had this year uh, was our FFA cattle auction. And I'm telling you what, that was one awesome event we had on campus. And um, – Let's take a look here. Uh, FFA is uh, one of our uh, career tech student organizations, and uh, it focuses on agriculture. And our students, uh, this was their fundraiser. They raised some uh, cattle, and um, they sold it at auction. And we'd like to make sure that we thank uh, Lewis Auctioneers for helping um, put on this event. Uh, here's the cow with the, the people that bought them. Uh, there's Mr. McDaniels doing some of the auctioning. And that's one of the awesome things about Grand Career Center is uh, just involving the community and uh, having these awesome, unique events that bring people to campus. And we, we just pride ourselves on uh, bragging on our kids and doing cool things. And th this was just one of many really cool events that we've had here Um on campus at Grand Career Center. Uh, like I said, the gym is starting to fill some, uh, which is always fun. And, you know, the buzz and excitement continues to uh, get loud back here. Um, but there's nothing better than uh, celebrating student success. And that's one thing that we uh, like to do. All right, let's see here. We have uh, another congratulations from Sarah Martin to AJ Andrew Fitch. They're so proud of you. And let's see. I think we might have Mr. Uh, Carter down there. Let, let's see what he's up to. Mr. Carter, are you down there? I'll ask you your home school. I don't think they were ready yet. Okay. Let's see what else we got. we have here. Sorry, I got a lot to control here. 
So as we talk about um, our career tech student organizations, uh, our FCCLA did really well this year. And here's a little congratulations video we had put together for them. We are back out here uh, live. And, you know, a few things that we have some facts about this class that's pretty awesome is that we have a 98% completion rate uh, with our seniors. 52% uh, of those seniors participated in work-based learning. And uh, I actually have Mr. Grable up here who would love to talk about uh, work-based learning. So let me see if I can get him in here. How you doing, Mr. Grable? I'm doing great. How are you, Mr. Dorsey? I'm doing just fine. I was uh, getting ready to say you look like an ESPN announcer, well, man. I, You're looking awesome. I have to make sure all the sound works because last year, earlier this year, I found out that they can only hear me half the time. So, <laughs> uh, maybe I have too much to say. That, maybe, no. maybe that's a, a, a hint. No, no, no. It's so, a lot of good things. Why don't you tell me a little bit about uh, you know, work-based learning and some of the successes our kids have had this year? Yeah, we, we've had a lot of uh, a great experiences this year. You know, we, we picked up uh, about 22 business partners this year, you know, uh, from the past, which has been awesome. Uh, picked up, uh, you know, a, a lot of good experiences for the kids to take advantage of. You know, um, we've got kids that are doing, you know, manufacturing, they're, they're welding. Uh, we've got kids in healthcare, um, you know, uh, our students in IT who are doing some, some great work. Uh, you know, a couple of them uh, are doing a summer camp with P and G this year. Uh, you know, taking advantage of some great experience. Um, you know, even virtually. So, been a lot of changes. You know, some of that stuff from from COVID still kind of uh, lingering a little lingering. bit. Lingering, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but fading, but fading. So, the, but the good stuff is sticking, right? You know, oh, absolutely. These, those are the, so that's the experiences that the kids are uh, are getting excited about. Um, you know, I even got, you know, the last couple of weeks here, our juniors are ramping up, you know, like Mr. Gray, well, I want, you know, I'm ready to go to work and, you know, bringing me some of these, um, you know, new experiences that they want to take advantage of making some money. Right. And the great thing is like, they're ready to go. Like we have kids that are so excited about early placement that they're trying to do some classes online this summer so they can hit the ground running and, and go to work. Yes. And. We had students this year, you know, that, that finished up. Gee, I, I was trying to think of the numbers, but somewhere, you know, in the 20s range, you know, students that finished their academics by Christmas, you know, which opened up their schedule tremendously, um, got them out, you know, working in, uh, in the field where they wanted to be and was fantastic. It was fantastic. And uh, we can't thank our business partners enough for giving our students the opportunity to um, get real hands on work experience in the right environment. So, Absolutely. Uh, hey, Mr. Grable, thank you for all your hard work, keeping track of our kids, uh, taking care of our employers that work with us. And if you are an employer watching or you have a business and you think, hey, that might match, uh, you can call or look on our website and find Chad Grable. He's our uh, early placement coordinator. Sure. We're yep. based learning coordinator. All those things. They're on there. <laughs> look at this face. There's a picture of him. And shoot him an email or call him, and he would be happy to link you guys up. Absolutely. Um, you know, and, and a lot of different areas. So if you're in an industry that you think maybe, you know, not sure it fits or not, come to campus. Give us a visit. You know, come on in. Doors are open. We would love to have you on campus. So, yeah. hey, Chad, thanks for uh, hanging out with yes. us, brother. All mm -hmm. right. Take care, man. All right. I think we have Mr. Carter ready to go down in the cafeteria. So let's see what he's up to. Mr. Carter, how are you, buddy? I'm doing great. We are standing here with Emma Casey. She is a senior in our early childhood program. Emma, what's your home school? Felicity. Felicity. And what are your plans upon graduation? Uh, I'm going to go to college and get my bachelor's in teaching. And I'm hoping to be an elementary art teacher. I have her in class. She's going to do a great, great job. Um, what are What is a message you would like to send to your fellow graduates? Um, I have watched you guys. A lot of you 
overcome some things this year, and I'm really proud of you, and I can't wait to watch you grow up. And what's your favorite memory from Grant? Going to Educators Rising. It was a really great experience. There was a lot of great experiences here, and that was my favorite. And lastly, is there anybody you'd like to shout out? Yeah, my mom's. Love you guys. Thanks, Emma. Congratulations. Yeah. You think I choked on my interview? Huh? You think I choked on my interview? Bro, no way. We're still, we're still, we're still live. Oh, smooth. Say what's up, guys. Yeah. What's up, YouTube? What it do, YouTube? Ethan Scales. You want the attention? Say hello. We, uh, Thanks, Mr. Dorsey. I lost my headphones. Had a, we had a little accident up here. Uh, hey, uh, live, live YouTube, I guess, right? <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, let's see uh, what else we have going on around here. Uh, so again, if you have not checked out Grand Career Center in a long time, I would encourage you to check out our website, grandcareer.com. We have virtual tours on there. Um, and uh, we just love getting kids to find their passion. Uh, a few talking points that we uh, wanted to brag about this uh, class is that uh, this senior class has earned 1,614 industry credential points, which is just phenomenal. Uh, we had 36 students accepted to college, which is about 19% of our senior class. Uh, but they earned $112,590 in scholarships, which is just fantastic. 72% um, of our senior class has been on honor roll at some point during their, uh, their grant career. And uh, we have six students heading to the, who have enlisted into the military, and we cannot thank them enough for um, deciding to make that choice. Uh, so thank you for your service. Um, as I scroll through about some of the great things that have happened here at Grant Career Center, um, I wanted to just kind of give you uh, a little look, just a little overview of Grant Career Center. So um, I'll be back in about uh, 50... All right, I'm back here up in the crow's nest here at, I don't know if that's really what they call it, but that's what I like to call it. Uh, and uh, let's look at some of uh, the congratulations that are coming in. Uh, we have Paul McCulley saying congratulations to Jacob McCulley. We have uh, Crystal Bolton congratulating Gavin. Congratulations to every student of 2022. We have Christina Bolton saying she loves, she got tears in her eyes. She can't stop holding them back. Um, so we have uh, just a, a fantastic group of students here that we are uh, really proud of tonight. Uh, let's give you guys a look here at the Felicity band there here playing some music for all of us. It takes lots of people to pull off an event like this, and uh, we are so thankful that uh, Felicity Franklin sent their band in to uh, play for us tonight, and they just sound fantastic. Hopefully, they'll be playing us another little piece here in a minute. Uh, we also uh, would like to thank Bethel Tate uh, Local Schools uh, for 
providing the gym for us tonight. Uh, their custodians staff has worked really hard to get this event ready for us. They were actually catching birds this morning. There's somehow some birds got into um, the gym. So uh, so that was uh, really nice of them to work really hard to get this event set up for us. Uh, let's take a quick look at some of the alumni from the past and their uh, graduation. Uh, so here's some pictures some of our graduates sent in. Or alumni, I'm sorry. Uh, so these were from a few years ago. I'm not sure the dates on these. I know uh, the alumni were awesome at sending them in. My inbox got flooded. Uh, so that was like really cool. Uh, but I didn't put... Uh, dates on them. So that's on me. All right. I think um, coming back out here, uh, up in the crow's nest, taking a look around. Like I said, it's really busy here today, and um, students are starting to get uh, ready. Uh, I know many of them are getting their pictures taken. And I know we got Mr. Carter down there and Mrs. Cooper wandering around talking to some students. So hopefully they will have somebody for us here in a few minutes. Uh, Rhonda Davis says, congratulations, Daniel Ryan from Grandma Rhonda. So that's really awesome. And we have Carla Halloway saying congratulations to Caleb Pearson. Job well done and they love, love you. And Jonah Blevins, say Bree Blevins, congratulations from Mama and Papa. Good luck in the future. And we have Linda Butcher saying congratulations to Chris Butcher. So, uh, all right, I think we might have uh, our staff reporters down there. They're looking around. Hopefully, we have uh, them getting ready to talk to somebody. And she's still going. Not sure what they're doing, but hopefully we'll have a kid here in a minute. Uh, let's see. So uh, one thing about Grand Career Center I talked about earlier is our students competing at uh, nationals and locals. And so our CTSOs, they start out at, with local competitions that are held actually at Grand Career Center with our own students. And the best students from each lab gets to compete at regionals. So they'll compete against other um, career centers around um, the region, the state. And then they will go to Columbus where they'll compete statewide. And then they go to nationals where we will fly them across the country to compete and represent Grant Career Center in their uh, field. So um, one of the thing is, is our students get an opportunity that they may have not had yet, uh, especially since COVID has lasted like two years um, to fly. Uh, we usually take them out to a nice restaurant one night. Uh, they get to stay in a hotel, a really nice hotel, um, and experience a new city, which, um, you know, if you get outside the Midwest is just a very different experience. So, um, here's what our students had to say about their career tech organization. What F of A means to me is that we can apply everything that we learn in the classroom out to the real world. And we also get to compete in competitions. Like we went to state, which was up in Columbus. And we also get to show in fair and have a cattle auction, which was very successful this year. If I wouldn't have been an FFA, I wouldn't have got the opportunities that I've gotten this year. 
I love FFA because it teaches me about agriculture and helps me get better in my leadership skills. In FFA, we have all sold four cows at auction, and we've also done many different um, CDEs in which we've learned more about livestock and equine, and for me, floriculture. And because of those CDEs, I am more prepared to go to competitions and I am better able to make friends with people. I'm Haley, I'm a senior in Allied Health and I am the HOSA Vice President. Um, HOSA has brought me a lot of opportunities. It has definitely made me grow closer to my um, classmates that went with me. Um, I made it to state and I did not like I did it junior year and we didn't get to go like anywhere because it was COVID. But this year we went to Columbus and I got to experience like going to restaurants with my class. And then we went to the competition and that was just so much fun. Um, I had skills like blood pressure, um, respirations, heart rate. Those are called vital signs. Um, and then I also had to do hand washing and putting on. So I definitely recommend um, going to HOSA and being involved in it because it gives you an opportunity to go, grow closer to all of your like classmates and people. Um, I roomed with people that I didn't know um, and it definitely brought me a lot closer to those people. So if you're coming to Grant and you're in the Allied Health Program or the Vet Science Program, I definitely recommend going into HOSA. Hi, my name is Emily, and I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the opportunities HOSA brought up for me. One of the big ones was definitely um, it helped me build my team working skills. When I did um, biomedical debate, I got to work on a team with two other people, and we all really got to work together and learn how to work better as a team rather than just independently working on our own. Uh, I also got to travel to Tennessee. Well, I had the opportunity to be able to. Um, this summer, I might possibly be able to go. And um, recently I did go to Columbus with my HOSA team and we got to do some competitions and some really cool lectures where I learned a lot about um, not just animal medicine, but also human medicine as well. So it's very interesting and has opened up a lot of friendships for me as well. So I definitely recommend doing HOSA. All right, we are back out here. Uh, we're getting ready to get started. We have the uh, Felicity Band playing. And uh, we are just a few minutes away from getting started. So uh, let's listen in here to the band. <laughs> As you can see, students are starting to line up in the um, in the cafeteria. Uh, they're making their final preparations for uh, our senior recognition ceremony. So it is really fun and exciting. And the kids just can't wait for this night to, to get going. And we're excited for them too. So if you haven't had a chance to get your graduation program, you can download that with a QR reader on your phone. And uh, we're gonna do a little reset so we can get ready for the event. And then we will be back with the graduation program. So um, stick with us. What you do in life matters. At Grant Career Center, we help students discover a passion that leads to success in life. We nurture excellence through a student-centered focus. This is where dreams become reality. Weaknesses emerge as strengths. And students who are college and career ready is our trial. Grant Career Center is a school of choice. Are you ready? Apply today at grantcareer.com.
I also want to thank Randy Dorsey for the streaming of the ceremony to our social media services. Mr. Ben Backus from Felicity Franklin High School for his musical direction of the band and the Felicity Franklin High School band members. I would like to thank the National Technical Honor Society members who helped pass out programs, and Mr. Brent Guy and the maintenance staff for their part in helping with this event. Amber Averwater, Grace Powers, Noah Sir, Isabella Landis, Alexander Perrin, Nathaniel Weiss, and Nicholas Weiss are seven of our students that have earned the Summa Cum Laude designation and have volunteered to help lead the senior ceremony. I want to thank them for their leadership. We will now introduce some of the people who allow Grant to be the premier career center in the state of Ohio. Please stand when I call your name. Mr. Michael Perry, Superintendent. <laughs> Mrs. Kelly Sinninger, Treasurer. From Felicity, Mr. Andy Ninja, Vice President of the From Bethel, Mrs. Cynthia Riddle, member of the Board of Education. From Williamsburg, Mrs. Sue Maxson, member of the Board of Education. And from Williamsburg, Mrs. Beth McManus, member of the Board of Education. We would now like to introduce our distinguished guests from our four home schools. Please stand when I call your name. Representing Bethel Tate School, Superintendent Ms. Melissa Kircher. <laughs> Principal Mr. George Sargent. And Counselor Mrs. Caitlin Wallace. Representing Felicity Franklin Schools, Principal Mr. Robert Walker. <laughs> Counselor Mr. Kristen Baird. <laughs> Representing New Richmond Schools, Assistant Principal Mr. Lawrence Mizowski. <laughs> Representing Williamsburg Schools, Superintendent Mr. Matt Early. Principal, Mr. Jason Tackett. I want to now thank two groups of people who have had a tremendous Would all of the parents of the graduates please stand? Thank you for raising and nurturing this fine individual. Your love and guidance has been constant, and everyone here appreciates it. Now, would all the great career center school faculty and staff members please stand? We have such a dedicated team of teachers and support staff who have spent so many hours with the students and do such a tremendous job of preparing our students to succeed in whatever the future holds. I would now like to introduce our superintendent, Mr. Michael Perry. Ladies and gentlemen, parents, grandparents, family, friends, distinguished guests, and most importantly, class of 2022, good evening. It's my pleasure to have the opportunity to say a few words on this important occasion. This completion ceremony marks an important milestone on the pathway to your future. 
congratulations, and well done. Eleanor Roosevelt taught us you gain strength, courage, and confidence in every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. You must do the things that you think you cannot do. Your time at Grant has been filled with those moments. It began with the courageous choice to leave your previous school and attend Grant Career Center. You started your journey here by looking fear in the face, leaving what you have known and taking on a challenge to improve your future. At Grant, you learned to overcome obstacles with determination and perseverance. You pushed yourself to grow, to grow and you pushed yourself to succeed. Eleanor Roosevelt goes on to say, in the long run, we shape our lives and we shape ourselves. The process never ends until we die. And the choices we make are ultimately our own responsibility. With your courageous choice to attend Grant, you've started the process of taking responsibility for your future and shaping your future lives. You've differentiated yourself. You've given yourself a leg up. You've made yourself stand out and you have better prepared yourself for a bright future. While this completion ceremony marks the end of an experience at Grant Career Center, it also marks the beginning of an exciting future. A future in which you will continue to take responsibility for your life, your successes, your failures, your wins, and your losses. A future in which you will use determination and perseverance practiced at Grant to overcome obstacles and achieve your goals. This completion ceremony marks a turning of the page of the story of your life. Continue to write that story with the same courage you exhibited by coming to Grant. Take responsibility for your life, look fear in the face, and do great things. We know that you can. Thank you for choosing Grant and giving us the opportunity to be part of your story. We wish you the very best in all that the future holds. Congratulations and best wishes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Ms. Amber Averwater, will you please come forward? Amber will present the first 2022 Grant Senior Class message. Oh dear. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Amber Aberwater, or according to Mr. Lytle, wherever he is, Mr. Lytle, yeah, according to Mr. Lytle, I'm Aberwater Law. Well, we made it. Twelve years of schooling has come down to this moment. Just think, in the two short years we've all had here, we have survived the most pressing topics of today. COVID, high gas prices, and TikTok dances. We have also grown and made new lifelong friends, and we've all had learned a trade that puts us far ahead of many other high school students graduating this year. As a homeschooler, when I first came to Grant, I expected go to go to class being bored and disengaged, which I very quickly found out was wrong. I soon learned that each teacher from Mr. Dunn all the way to Mrs. Weeks is dedicated to helping us succeed and making sure we get an excellent education. So on that note, I would like to thank Mr. McDaniel for helping me learn what it is to be a hard worker. I'd use my brain and not my back. Thank you to Mr. Lytle, who is patient enough to allow me to spend four hours to take my chemistry final. Time crystals forever. If you don't know what time crystals are, I highly suggest you look them up after the ceremony. They're pretty weird. <coughs> Thank you to Miss C, Miss Weeks, and Miss Coop Dog. You all are the best teachers I could have ever asked for. I'd also like to thank my parents for supporting me, and last but not least, God for holding me up when I was struggling most. As we finish our high school careers, I encourage everyone to go out into the world and make the life you want to live. It's your choice to live a happy and good life. Just like me singing the national anthem, go outside of your comfort zone and do things with confidence. I'm hoping I did better than Fergie and Roseanne Barr. 
even with that little slip up at the end. <laughs> As the quote on Miss C's wall says, life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you react to it. Go do spontaneous things. Get yourself a milkshake every once in a while, all right? Milkshakes are amazing. Um, go for a hike. Make sure that you don't waste your life. Just keep taking the next step and keep your goals in focus. Do not let anyone change what you want in life. Starting today, go be free and go find yourself a job that doesn't feel like a job. Go pick the flowers while you run. Congratulations, class of 2022. You all have been family to me and I will miss each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you, Amber. Miss Grace Powers, will you please come forward? Grace will present the second 2022 Grant Senior Class message. Good evening, parents, students, friends, and family members. I want to take the time, I wanted to take the opportunity to say a few words about the past two years at Grant. There are quite a few things that make this school unique. Activities are always being planned to help keep the atmosphere fun and light. In the beginning of the year, there was Fantastic Friday and the Fall Fest to start off some, with some fun and games. For me personally, there was a three day long barbecue event within the first month of school, and I'm not really sure how we managed to pull that off, but we did. Not to mention weekly things like why we love Wednesdays and the tr Friday trifectas, the majority of which are solely organized by Mr. Heflin. There are opportunities to win little prizes like cookies and gift cards. There were open houses and sophomore days when potential future students got the opportunity to tour the school and labs. But re what really makes this school special is the sense of community that can be found here. This school has given its students more than any other school I've known. Free tuxes and dresses for proms, sponsors for clubs, uniforms for various competitions, and much more. There are different communities for students to be involved in, like prom committee, student council, NTHS, ambassadors, and hope squad. Everyone can get involved somehow, and even if they don't, there's always someone for them to feel connected to just by being in a lab. Being at Grant has always made me feel welcome, even when in other schools have not. High school can be a trial for anyone, but I like to believe that there is a real effort at Grant to make it as painless as possible. Don't forget about those who were willing to help you, even when you felt as if there was nothing that could make your situation better. Aspire to be that person for others, even if it's by offering little things. You never know when something like a bottle of water or a friendly greeting will help make someone feel a little less alone. The big and little things at Grant made our time enjoyable, and all of us have the potential to be someone, that someone for others. I urge you to remember that as you continue on from here, and with my utmost sincerity, congratulations to class of 22, 2022. We made it. Thank you, Grace. Mr. Noah, sir, will you please come forward? Noah will present the final 2022 Grant Senior Class message. Ladies and gentlemen, families, staff, graduates, and Grant Career Center supporters, I want to take this time to thank you for coming out tonight. Grant Career Center has helped me learn skills I wouldn't have known otherwise, using their knowledge on the career traits of our choosing to teach us how to become the best of the best. My instructor, Mr. Rick Cruzy, has been the best instructor, though it might be biased. He has taught me everything I need to know and be an auto body repair and paint technician. Thank you, Mr. Cruzy, for your time, commitment, and patience. I want to thank my family that have shown me unconditional love and support to follow where the Lord guides me and follow his will in my life. His will has led me to find a place at Grant Career Center. I want to thank the friends that have taken the time out of their days to help me when I needed them most, and that, for that, I am grateful. I want to thank the staff that have worked till their arms fell off to give us the best senior year ever. But most importantly, I want to thank the Lord that has died for me, and for that, I'm forever grateful. Growing up, I was shown how to work hard and push to be the best of my abilities. Though I fell down sometimes, I just got back up and pushed harder. 
At age 13, I was diagnosed with a tumor that took away feeling in half my face and my taste for food. I always pushed through those events in my life with the help of my family, friends, church family, and my savior. As we exit the high school stage of our lives, may we all remember the hardships, struggles, and trials we went through to get to this point in time and push forward. May we continue our learning as we gather experience towards our careers and success for our next step in life as alumni of Grant Career Center. Thank you everyone for your time, effort, and unconditional kindness to push us to do better and be our best. Congratulations, class of 2022. Thank you, Noah. You've just heard three of your classmates deliver some very powerful and encouraging words. I hope you carry what they have said with you as they were great messages. Before we recognize our students that have received scholarships and awards, I'd like to say a few words. The conclusion of your high school career lends itself to a reflection on your life and the important character traits that have carried you through to this moment. Everyone needs to have a vision and the fortitude and determination to see that vision through to completion. When others doubt your ability, to achieve your vision, just remember, you often will face obstacles in your day-to-day -day life, but dreams that seem impossible can be realized with determination and persistence, no matter what the odds. Even the most distant dream can be realized through determination and persistence. Never give up on your ideas or yourself. There will be times in your life that things do not go as planned, but never give up and keep trying. Many of the things that we take for granted today were the result of a person being determined to bring their vision to fulfillment. The strength of your character does not come from how you react to your successes, of which I know there will be many. The strength of your character comes from how you react to your circumstances in your life. So always believe in yourself and have the determination to realize your dreams. I would also like to add that I am confident all of you will be successful on your chosen path after graduation. I know that you're capable of achieving great things. It has been a pleasure and honor to be your principal this year. I'm extremely proud of each of one of you and I wish you the best of luck in your future. We would now like to recognize our students for their awards, activities, and organizations they have been involved in while at Grand Career Center. Information on these awards and activities is listed in your program. Please hold your applause until all students are standing. We will now recognize the students who have had perfect attendance while at Grant. These students have not missed a day of school all year. Would all students receiving perfect attendance please rise when your name is called? Alex Acree. Michaela Barnes, Robert Carter, Lucas Priest Woodry, Emily Crompton, James Hancock, Derek Kirschman, Isabella Landis, Ashley Lipscomb, Heather Lipscomb, Judy McClanahan, Jenna McMullen, Nicholas Moorhead, Jack Munn, Connor Ninichuk, Garrett Pinger, Haley Sampson, Tristan Shepard, Brian Strong, Ariel Tucker, Nathaniel Weiss, Nicholas Weiss, and Jacob Weiss-Patel. We would like to bring special recognition to Robert Carter and Heather Lipscomb. They have not missed a single day of high school career. students who are on honor roll. Would all students on the honor roll please rise.
We would like to recognize those students who are members of the National Technical Honor Society. Would the members of the National Technical Honor Society please stand? We will now recognize the students who have received the top, top academic reward for each discipline. When I call your name, please stand and remain standing until all names have been called. Top English awards go to Damian Kearns, Derek Kirschman, Breland Rains, and Rachel Rapp. <laughs> Top science awards go to Amber Averwater, Nicole Belt, Zoe Crawford, Rhea Price, Rachel Rapp, and Brian Strunk. Top Social Studies Awards go to Amber Averwater and Josephine Henze. <laughs> Top Math Awards, Amber Averwater, Derek Kirschman, Nicole Moorhead, Nicholas Moorhead, sorry, and Nathan Suda. We will now recognize the top senior in each of the career training programs. When I call your name, please stand or remain standing until all names have been called. Allied Health Science, Ava Petri, and Haley Kimberly. Auto Collision, Trevor Wessel. Automotive Service Technology, Gage Weber. Construction Technology, Charles Troxel. <laughs> Cosmetology, Josephine Pensy. <laughs> Criminal Justice, Nicole Belt. <laughs> Culinary Arts, Grace Powers. Early Childhood Education, Whitney Hauserman. <laughs> Information Technology, Damian Kearns. <laughs> Large Animal Science, Amber Averwater and Emily Crumpton. <laughs> Metal Fabrication, John Smith. Manufacturing Engineering Technology, Jacob Weiskadel. And finally, Veterinary Science, Rachel Rapp. We will now recognize the members of the Drug Free Club. Would all students who are members please stand? We will now recognize the students who competed in the regional, state, or national competition in their career technical student organization. Please rise if you participated in one of the competitions. We will now recognize all the career technical student organization officers. Would all career technical student organization officers please stand? We will now recognize the members of the student council. At this time, would all members of student council please stand? We will now recognize the seniors who have been accepted to college. The scholarships and awards the students receive at the time of the program being printed are listed in your program. 
If applicable, the amount is also listed by the award. The total amount of scholarships accepted is $112,590. At this time, would all students who are attending college please stand? We will now recognize the students who were part of any work-based learning opportunities. Students have accumulated 31,955 hours of work-based learning and cumulatively collected $434,579 in wages. Would all students who went into early placement, apprenticeship, or working a job in their program field please rise? Those entering the military after gradu graduation, please stand. These young, people, these young people have made a very difficult, important decision about what to do with their futures. We wish you well, and our prayers are with you. At this time, Lauren Mark will present the students who have earned an associate's degree from UC while attending the MET program. I'd also like to um, present the certificates for the students that participated as well. So I'm going to call the certificate students out first and then the associate degree. Uh, Jack Munn. Haley Sampson. <laughs> Nathaniel White. <laughs> Nicholas White. So we have four students that have earned an associate's degree while also graduating high school at the same time. This is the first time that that has happened at the University of Cincinnati with the College Credit Plus program. So I'd like to thank the four students that I'm about to call up for being patient with me as I probably bugged you too much um, to get this process started and finished. And we are so proud of you. So first person is Tate Wyming. Jenna McMullen. Connor Ninachuk. And 
and Jacob White Fiddle. Thanks, everybody. At this time, Mr. Ron Nunn will present the faculty and staff award. Good evening, everyone. My name is Ron Dunn, and I have the privilege of representing the staff at Grand Bridge. What began uh, over 20 years ago as a way of helping an injured colleague has morphed into a way of supporting our students who are moving on to post-secondary education and into the workforce. And we created this thing called the Faculty and Staff Award. For the first two awards tonight, they are worth $1,000 each and they will go towards tuition and books, whatever the student needs for that. Our first recipient is in our vet science program. She will be attending either Moorhead State or St. Clair. She's been chosen to uh, accept to both of those where she will major in veterinary technology. Ms. Isabella, Isabella Landis. tonight will also receive a thousand dollar award to go towards tuition books in the vet science program as well mr nicholas moorhead will be attending the ohio state university <laughs> 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 our third recipient is uh, a new award this year um, Young man is, is currently employed, going to stay employed in his field, and he is uh, working in the auto collision industry. Mr. Noah Stern will be receiving $250 uh, gift card. Almost 26 years ago, one of the founding members of Grant Career Center unexpectedly passed away. And even though many today don't know who he is, they still remember some of the impact. And that's what we want to continue to do as graduates and as employees as we go forward. This was named after Keith Boyce. Uh, he was my instructor when I was at Grant. And now, uh, well, we'll say a while later, I get the privilege of handing out uh, this year's recipient and this is a first um, because we've never had to give it to two people at the same time. But honestly, after two years with him, I still can't tell him apart. And so I was never sure who was doing what. So congratulations to Nicholas and Nathaniel Weiss, the Keith Boys recipients. They were truly iron sharpening iron. They didn't always agree, but they always hit each other's back and got the job done. Secondly, as a Haas Automation accredited school, we get the opportunity to provide the Gene Haas grant, which goes to a student who has a clear and direct uh, post-secondary selection. And this year, that opportunity goes to Tate Lyman.
I have the uh, honor to present a military award this evening. This military award is presented to a student in honor of James Lumpkin, who was killed on January 29, 1991. James was a U.S. Marine during the Persian Gulf War, and his memorial service was held at New Richmond Elementary School. He was a graduate at New Richmond High School and Grand Career Center. It is my honor to present Linda Ward with the James Lumpkin Award. <laughs> Lindell's not joining me on the stage this evening, not because he's bashful, but because he's at basic training. So he's uh, already started. until they've received their career passports. Will the class please rise? Members of the Board of Education, it's my pleasure to present to you the Grant Career Center Class of 2022. All these... completed the course of study as prescribed by the Board of Education. The career passport they are about to receive carries with it our respect, confidence, and best wishes for future success. Please take your places for the presentation of the career passport. Veterinary Science Instructor Katie Klein, Charles Eskridge II. Floyd Hensley. Isabella Landis. Michelle Linville. Chloe Maynard. <gasps> Judy McClanahan. <laughs> Cheyenne McMurrin. <laughs> Nicholas Moorhead. <laughs> Jason Peacock. Riley Randolph. <laughs> Rachel Rapp. Madison Simmons. Ariel Tucker. Metal Fabrication Instructor Matt Crum. Matthew Abner. Kyler Abrams. Braden Bayless. Matthew Bishop. Caleb Carnahan. Woo! 
Ethan Carter. Garrett Conley. Trevor Delisle. Andrew Fitch II. Jordan Hall. Tristan Hamilton. Ricky Hutchison III, Noah Jones, Jacob Kendall, Justin Lambert, Bryson Phillips, Garrett Panger. Jace Strickton, Tristan Shepard, John Smith, Caleb Tincher, Isaiah Wessel. Ian Williams, Mark Williams, Large Animal Science Instructor Sean McDaniel, Amber Averwater, Nevaeh Baker, yeah. Emily Carter, yeah. Rebecca Cornwell, yeah. Emily Crumpton, yeah. Madison Lawson, Faith Morell, Skylar Neeson Wesley, Alexia Pitzer, Tariana Smith, Mark Spears.
Information Technology Instructor Brandon Hefner, Alexander Acri. Connor Ball. Stephen Bennett. John Carter. Liam Kahn. Christian Dunn. Logan Faust. Damian Kearns. Ashley Lipscomb. Ethan Long. Sam Moneymaker. Hunter Moore. Caleb Pearson. Nathan Suda. William Swart. Jacob Wilson. Leslie Wilson. Engineering Design, Instructor Tobin Hubner. James Baker. Kaylee Blevins. Isaac Dowers. Nehemiah Squire, Jr. Manufacturing Engineering Technology, University of Cincinnati, instructors Chris Goodman and Tobin Hubner. Andrew Knight. Tate Liming. Jenna McMullen. Jack Bunn. Connor Ninichuk. <laughs> Haley Sampson. <laughs> Nathaniel Weiss. <laughs> Nicholas Weiss. Jacob Weisskittle. You nailed it. Early childhood education instructors Jenna Stevens and Hannah Lindsay. Alexis Anderson. Emma Casey. <laughs> Whitney Hauserman.
Maria Musselman. Alexis Perkins. Macy Sawyers. Angel Sailor. Haley Stam. Culinary Arts Instructor Nicolette Cash, Savannah Allen, Mackenzie Annis, Abigail Bingaman, Trevor Bias. Brady Childers, Joshua Lewis, Gavin Manis, Grace Powers, Miles Talbot. Connor Yelton. <laughs> Criminal Justice Instructor Kevin Dyer. Nicole Belt. Natalie Clift. <laughs> Lucas Creech Woodry. <laughs> I got through, bro. <laughs> Evan Hall. <laughs> Lillian Ice Novel. <laughs> Nicholas Isbell. Brandon Lee. Yeah. Samantha List. <laughs> Madison Lucas. <laughs> Breland Rains. Yeah. Ryan Stewart. Logan Young.
We now move on to cosmetology instructor Lori Messner. Khadija Anaja. Josephine Hempsey. Brianna Horn. Sierra McIntyre. Dashaya Parker. Jesse Reed Jr. Emma Sanchez. Navea Wilson. Construction Technology Instructor, Bill Pry. Gavin Bolton. Austin Braun. Christopher Butcher. Robert Carter II. Noah Eicher, Bryce Lancaster, James Ridner, Ethan Scales, Charles Troxel, Robert Wendell, Dylan Williams. Now we have Automotive Service Technology Instructor Jason Akers, Joshua Clark, Harley Dykes, Eddie Harvey IV, Derek Kirschman, Anthony Kaisek. Alexander Little. Joshua Mark. Stephen McCain. Christopher McClanahan. Hunter McCord, Jacob McCulley, Landon Patton, Jaden Seal, Brian Strunk, Dustin Baskey. Logan Waters, Gage Weber,
Auto Collision Instructor, Rick Cruzy. Benjamin Bowen. Daniel Brochier. Gavin Dees. Haley Foley. James Hancock. Luke Nort. Alexander Perrin. Noah Sturm. Trevor Wetzel. Allied Health Instructors, Rochelle Baker and Amy Moe. McKenna Avenatti. Michaela Barnes. Brendan Bogley. Shane Cooper. Kylie Cornett. Zoe Cropper. Morgan Dahlheimer. Nathaniel Daniel. Jordan Hollyfield. Nathaniel Keller. Haley Kimberly. Heather Lipscomb. Zoe Lind. Ethan Madigan. Carly Maffey. Madeline Miller. Madison Moyer. Ava Petrie. Kyra Petrie. Sway Pike. Rhea Price. Logan Reppet. Evan Reynolds. Marissa Rowland. Brooklyn.
sample. Caitlin Sharp. Isabella Taylor. Victor Walker. Brooklyn Wilson. Class, please rise.
what you do in life matters. At Grant Career Center, we help students discover a passion that leads to success in life. We nurture excellence through a student-centered focus. This is where dreams become reality. Weaknesses emerge as strengths. And students who are college and career ready is our triumph. Grant Career Center is a school of choice. Are you ready? Apply today at grantcareer.com.